So, some of you may recognise this Shoeberth E1 Adventure Lid. That's right, this was in fact, in fact it started life, kind of, as a Shoeberth S3. What they did was realise that when it came to adventure bikes and adventure biking, most adventure bikes didn't often go that adventure -y, didn't get that dirty. So, they took upon this, they took one of the quietest, most comfortable helmets on the market and they turned it into an adventure lid. So you had all the adventure stuff if you needed it, if you actually did go off-road properly, and then you had all the benefits of Schubert's excellent road-based knowledge, all in one package. But now, it's time to go. Because it's time for something completely different. Here we have the brand new Schuberth E2. That's right, the new Adventure Lid. And what is it based upon? That'd be the C5. That's correct, it is based upon the C5. I mean, they could have based it on the C4 because that was a successful helmet, but because the C5 was such a step up and such an upgrade, they decided to make the E2 out of that. And, you know, we don't want to basic, say basically it's a C5 with a peak because there are other changes and it does other things, but it is basically a C5 with a peak. And you know what? That is not a bad thing. Now, one of the differences between this and its birth mother, the C5, is the venting. Um, the actual vents have been redesigned um, outside and slightly inside as well. This actually has more airflow than the C, which I can't quite believe because that's a breezy bugger when they're all open. But this actually has more airflow than the C5. And that's because, you know, if you are actually off-roading and getting all sweaty and stuff, you, you need it. To, yeah, to keep, to, keep, to keep cool. So that is one difference. And obviously the other very, very obvious difference here is the peak. And the peak can actually be adjusted. There you go, it has three stages of adjustment so you can pop it and put it where you like. And the even better thing about this, I, I'm not a big adventure, because I'm not a big adventure bike person, I'm not a big adventure bike lid person. But what I really like about this is you can, if you want, take it off and then it looks like a normal road helmet if you try if you take a peek off a specifically designed adventure bike helmet they tend to look a bit stupid mm, yeah yeah they do so that is one great thing about this if you want to have the adventure thing pop the peak on if you happen to have another bike that isn't an adventure bike peak off normal road helmet bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt and everyone should be buying e2s how does one take the peak off well, Go on, that is simple, right? Yes, and I can demonstrate this because I'm pretty simple. <laughs> Not that simple. One thing they have done, which I find really interesting is, so when I first started to undo this one and I noticed to undo it, it was anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. I tried anti-clockwise on this side and uh-uh, it doesn't come off. So they both go the same way. Exactly. See, uh... like that. So I've just unlocked that one. And then after that we have So once you've got that on, you literally just pop those in. So with the blanking plates now in, we have off-road style or on-road style. So visor-wise, it's a class one optical affair and it comes pre-installed with a Pinlock 120. And also, that's right, the internal sun visor is also class one optics. Two, what you might find on some helmets is the outside visor is the real deal, but the sun visor isn't the real deal. And here it is. So let's have a look at the inside. Okay, inside here we have a fully removable, washable and adjustable lining. So just like the C5, if you want, if you're thinking, oh, it's a bit tight here or it's a bit floppy here, you can actually get different internals which makes the fit absolutely perfect. And then we also have the micrometric strap, which is adjustable on both sides. This is attached to the anti-roll-off system that runs all the way down here and is secured at the back. And this stops the helmet from being yoinked off your head in case of it. Quite very rare, very rare set of circumstances, but you know what? It's on there anyway, so it means it will not come off, which is Freaking brilliant. And furthermore, if we have a look here, 
There's a little rubber bung. And when we take that little rubber bung out, what can we pop in there? That's right, the microphone to the SC comms. And that system is wonderful. Now, because this is 2206 homologated, it is also homologated for the P or the J, or whichever way round it is. So that's, if you wanna have it up and have it locked up, there is a little control button there. You pop that on, that won't go down and it is homologated that way. And I totally forgot when we were talking about the visors that despite the peak and everything, the C5's memory visor system is still, I know, yeah, I love that, right? Is, is, is still intact. So if you uh, have your visor, say, with the bottom here around your nose, so it's slightly open and you pull the entire thing back, when you bring it back down like that, the visor comes and stops and stays where it was in the first place. It's a, it's, it's a tiny thing, but I like the little things because the one thing that used to irritate me about other flip lids was when you brought it back down, the visor would cut off and go clunk, and that just, that just wind me up. Um, but that doesn't happen here, and especially, of course, because there's a real tangible working action to this visor as well. It's way better than uh, my last shoe berth was an S3, and that had quite a, a smooth action, but this is a real kind of clunk, 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 clunk. It's really decent. You can feel every single different stage that it goes to, and like I say, with the memory, it's never, it's always where you left it. Yes. So it's always where you want it, not where you don't want it, which is clunking down and annoying the life out of me, so yeah. So it's memory is better than yours. Oh, so that's, that is, I mean, wow. Let's talk about the comms. Okie dokie then, because again, based on the C5, and that came prepped for the specific Senna S50, I think it is, system. Um, and the way it became prepped is it has three separate antennas inside, one for comms, one for Bluetooth, one for something else. Basically, three antennas already in here, all homologated, and the actual system itself, which you can see fitted here, takes literally two minutes to fit. Yeah. It took us two minutes to fit on the C5, didn't it? Yeah. Two minutes to fit, and you can do everything. You've got calls, music, chat, GPS, uh, and it's got a special mesh 2.0, which is the very latest version, and that means people can dip in and out, or they can ride off somewhere, and when they come back, you don't have to set the whole thing back up again, they just, Slip straight back Slip into your conversation. In. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly that. How many people can you join I on these? I think you can even get up to like 20. 20? I mean, yeah, there's, I mean that's, that sounds like way too much noise for me. <laughs> that's if you've got an open, like an, uh, an open mesh going on. Um, we did actually do uh, a couple of specific videos on the SC comms you can find here on the YouTube page. So if you want to know exactly what this system does, and it does everything, so if you want to know what it does, Go check that out, but all you need to rest assured in this case is the E2, it fits this perfectly. As you can see here, you've got the control unit there, battery and brains on the back, and it snaps on, and you're ready to yap. And do not forget, very important with how helmet laws and stuff are changing at the moment, this helmet is also homologated with the comms fitted. And that is a bit of a bone of contention right now when it comes to comm systems and helmets. So this mm -hmm. one, you don't have to worry about it mm -mm. because everything is above board. And it works brilliantly too. Well, you know how I like a dark visor. I do. You can actually fit the C5 visor onto the E2. Like you've done there. Like I've done here. That is very cool. And that gives you even more, obviously, kind of protection from the sun because you have the internal visor but having another dark visor. Um, interestingly, they are going to actually bring out a dark visor with the holes mm -hmm. so you can put the peak on. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you don't just have to have a clear visor with the internal sun visor and a peak. You can actually have one of these. So they will be coming out soon. Well, what about the sizes? Oh, now you're asking me a question. Yes. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, well, I do know this actually. That size is extra small 23XL. <laughs> uh, so then, Gemma. Do you know how many colourways this comes I do, in? I do actually, it is nine. <gasps> Spoil sport, yes, but you are right, there are nine different colourways, and so this one here is kind of a speaking Yamaha to me when you get the kind of MT-10 Touring version. Mm -hmm. um, this one, yeah, this one here, this is saying, uh, if you've got like a black and red Versus, something like that, Kawasaki, or obviously, Ducati as Obviously. well, that will cover Ducati. That to me says, uh, actually that's a, a few different manufacturers, BMW definitely being one, and then this one is orange, so it is obviously... 
KTM. Yeah, that's definitely got a bit of KTM about it. If you want your helmet to match your bike, right. Um, one other interesting fact about these is they come with a five year warranty, except they kind of don't. What you have to do is sort out through the website. So it comes with a one or two year warranty, something like that. You go onto the website, you register, hey presto, five year warranty. And that's right. And which website is that, Gem? Which website to find out that information and any more information that you need to know on this special new E2? Well, that'll be bikerheads. .co.uk. Just nailed it again. Come on, Beach, we're going on an adventure. So pick up. No, no, I want that one. No, I'm having this one. No. It's mine.